morning. It is, oh my god, Monday, October 7th, 2024, I'm Larissa. In my video diary, the time has come to drink from skulls. Mm. Oh, why are the lights like that? Did that help? I don't know, did it? Time has come. Drink from skulls. So, I am uh, working on a new novel. And I uh, finished the third chapter yesterday. And I'm about halfway through the fourth chapter now. The fourth chapter has given me a little bit of trouble. And it's because I'm at a point where I'm going to make a couple of decisions about character development. Right? So, I was telling, talking to Omar about it a little bit yesterday. There's going to be a big transformation. I want there to be a big transformation in this main character. And one of two things may happen to convey that. It's possible that both of these things are going to happen. But I'm trying to decide like how he's going to respond to this transformation. Because the transformation is going to be something that's going to be unexpected. Right? You know, there's like going to be a big reveal. And there, there, so I'm, I'm, I have to, where I'm at right now is showing, oh God. Uh, uh, my eyelashes done yesterday and the glue that they used yesterday the gal used kind of my eye and it burned it burned real bad I hope I don't go blind anyway um the the choices that I'm making right now in writing they kind of set the stage for things that will come in the in the future right and I already have a number of things in the, in, in the, just in the first two chapters that are kind of foreshadowing that I can use, you know, that I can use for, for this transformation as, as like, oh, remember when that happened or remember when, the, when we said that or whatever, you know, that was kind of like, oh, that's what that was about, you know, or I can just leave it be and it doesn't matter, right? It's just something else in the, just, you know, a detail in the story, but I like all of my details to have a purpose, right? And have that purpose revealed. And so, you know, writing the first couple chapters, it's like, okay, you have all these little details. And it's like, what are these details going to reveal? It's like, what's going to happen? It's kind of like, it's kind of like an advent calendar. What's behind the little door, right? What kind of, what's, what's the candy? What's the, what's the little, what's the little treat? So, <sighs> mm. This is a different kind of character than I have explored in other novels that I've... Well, it's not entirely true. It's not entirely true. It was Tyson. In Songbird at Rest. I like that. I think that, that might be one of my... That might be my favorite novel that I've written is Song, Songbird at Rest. I really enjoyed enjoyed that story. Enjoyed getting to know those characters. And the pleroma at the end was, was good. I don't know. And I enjoyed that. But this is even a little different than, than Tyson. Um, dealing with some layers of psychology as well. And um, dealing with issues of stereotype and deception. Um, and the other thing, I woke up this morning with another it's like oh well that would be interesting too um having another character with a deceptive foil so that i have this these two characters on like on either side because it's like there's two sides in this in this story right um 
it's almost like like almost like a game where there's two teams, right? There's like there's two sides. It's us and them kind of kind of thing. And um th they would be good foils to each other, unexpected foils, right? These two these two characters, one from each side. Um yeah. So I've been working that out. So I'll probably do some writing today. Um, house is supposed to get clean today. Yay. Yay for how, for, yay for that. Yay for somebody coming and scrubbing my floor. My goddamn floor needs clean so goddamn bad. And I just, I just can't get down to do it. Um, normally I would go take a yoga class today. Uh, but not, to, not, not this week, not this week, not this week. Yeah. And I might have to switch days. Find another class. We'll see. I'd like to go to go this week, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it will. I don't know. I have to look and see what the schedule is on other days. All right. So I got some st stuff on the calendar to do this week. So I got to work around that, you know. You know, yeah, but yeah, so they're going to come clean the house today, get my floors cleaned, and it's been so long since my floor's been mopped. It's been well over a year since I mopped the floors. I mean, they get swept and everything, but, and when shit gets spilled, it gets, it gets wiped up and cleaned, but my floors haven't been, haven't been scrubbed, and it's just more than I can do getting down to the baseboards and stuff. I just can't, I, I just can't do it, so, uh, uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Big fat Larissa can't get down and scrub her floors. I can't. It's not that I can't can't scrub the floors because I'm fat. I'm fat because I can't scrub the floors. What do I mean? God, I fucking hurt. And so I got fat because they took away all my places where I exercised. Right. Oh my god. Oh, and I think about all the bullshit I've been through in the past 20 years. Oh my God. Yeah. My whole fucking life. The, the moments, the period, the periods of good in my life are so few and far between and so short lived. And I am not talking about like, Oh, you know, happiness where it's like, Oh, I'm really excited and happy about something. You know, that, that's that kind of thing. Happiness isn't, isn't some contentment is something that you look for. Right. And I've had contentment, but content, my contentment has come with the acceptance of horrendous situations. Right. Kind of like these choice, I've made choices to not be super, super miserable when you could argue it was just, it would have been justifiable, right? Mm. I just, I'm, you know, grateful that I have a clean bed to sleep in indoors and, um, food to eat, right? Yeah. That's like my day to day. So anyway, I wonder if they'll take down that moth cocoon over there. I've been leaving it up there. I've been leaving it there. I wonder if we'll be like, ew, take it down. Yeah. Anyway. So laundry, I'll work on laundry today and work on the novel. And then for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make a pot of broccoli cheese soup. I think that's what we'll have for dinner. 
think so. Got some broccolis down there. Blanch those. Blanch those and set them aside. And then, see with broccoli, when you, when you, when you're starting your your vegetable soup and you put that you put your stuff into the bottom of your pot, you know, like I'll put onion, potato, celery, carrot. But you don't want to put your broccoli in because it'll get real mushy and gross. So, like I'll I'll do my bay leaf and butter and garlic and onion and all that stuff in the pot in one pot and in the other pot I'll boil the water with salt and then I'll blanch the broccoli in that water. Then I'll take the broccoli out and I'll chill it right and set it aside. Then in the other pot with the butter and the celery and the onion and the carrot and garlic and all that jazz. I'll, I'll, I'll saute those vegetables until they start to get soft and maybe get a little caramelization. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then I will add in starch of some sort, whether it's going to be, I've got a bunch of mung bean starch down there right now. Mung bean starch. Yeah. And cheese. Mung bean starch and water. And then add in the cheese. And I'll use the broccoli water, right? I use the broccoli water. Use that broccoli water. I could use flour too to make the roux. We just use regular old flour. But that's a, a lot of gluten. And I think I'll just use the mung bean starch. Yeah. It is gluten free. Yeah. I have the mung bean starch and the and the and the broccoli water and then the cheese and then the broccoli put the broccoli back in yeah I think I'll use herb de Provence yeah and we'll have a big old pot of broccoli cheddar soup and then Omar can have his with with some sardines he can mix some sardines up I'll put a couple of those sardines on top of his bowl and he can mix his sardines in a little bit of hot sauce. Yeah. Last night for dinner, I made a big microgreen salad. There's microgreens, a bit of microgreens, and then I put some dry farm tomatoes and green onion and cucumber and on like one side. I sprinkled those with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder. And some some sesame oil and some um, some lemon juice, and then I add a piece of cheese, nice hard cheese, and like a wedge, you know. And I think it was truffled. It tasted like it was truffled. I buy the schmankas of cheese, the little schmankas. You can get it at Whole Foods when they when they cut up their cheeses and stuff, and they got the little schmankas left at the end that aren't really as big as the other pieces, and they weigh them, and they're like you know one or two servings, you know, kind of thing, little schmankas. So it's just a schmank. I cut the schmank in half, and uh, then some olives, a couple olives, and then falafel patties. So I air fried air fried falafel patties and potato little potatoes. They weren't real big; just they were smaller than my fist. Cut them in quarters, like air fried potato wedges. And then I mixed up some lavna with tahini and garlic and sesame oil and salt and pepper. And um, oh, it's a herb mix that I got for kufta. It is savory and mint and and fenugreek and oregano and parsley and chives 
Yeah. Oh, and I mixed in some uh, sumac. So it was like the, it was like the dipping sauce, right? For the for the potatoes and the um and the falafel and all of that was on the bed of microgreens. So it was like I don't know. It was like a deconstructed salad slash mezza. If I had had a couple uh, dolma, those would have gone well on that too. But I didn't. I haven't made those in a while. I should make them. Maybe I'll make those for Christmas. I asked Omar what he wants for Christmas or Thanksgiving. And he's like, I don't know, pierogies. I'm like, really? You want pierogies? Okay. Pierogies for Thanksgiving. I don't know, Christmas. Christmas, maybe I'll do dolmas. I've done dolmas for Christmas a number of times. You know. My Jerusalem feast. My Bethlehem feast. Uh, uh. Make dolmas and hummus and baba ganish and uh, made Omar some kebabs that year. I did those. I did those dolmas. Lamb, lamb. I don't eat the lamb anymore. No, 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 no. Yeah. So this novel I'm writing. I don't know if I can like. What are some of the other themes that are? Are, are pushing the, the novel along what are what what is what is the goal what am I what am I trying to what am I trying to illustrate right like what am I what am I talking about and you know the the big thing is the the most the, the most visible thing is anger but um it's really about righteous anger and and justified self-defense um in some ways I, it, it's you know uh, I don't know I've been thinking about um, the film Falling Down and the film, um, it was a comedy film called Anger Management. Um, and then the books, the books that I've been thinking about, The Stranger, like Camus, The Stranger, not Stranger in a Strange Land, land not Heinlein, but Camus, The Stranger and, um, Lolita, but without the, without the sexual theme, Right. So like Nabokov's Lolita, if, if you were to make Humbert something other than a pedophile, right? Having some other quirk um, that, that is problematic and still have him in relationship, have some of these similar relationships, you know, whatever. Like, let's say, oh, Fal there's the book Falconer, the book Falconer about the guy who's the English professor who is a heroin addict and he's in prison for being an addict and the book is about him going through withdrawal and his his moral and ethical struggle with himself about you know being an upright person who's educated you know even and here he is in prison a shitty fucking smack smack addict right um and the relationships that he has, like with with the jailers and things, it, it's 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 kind of like some of those relationships are kind of congruent to some of the um, some of the themes, some of the themes in those relationships. So it's, these are things I'm thinking about right now, writing this book. Yeah, so it's going to be the next book that's featured fiction once once the shifting light, once we're done with the shifting light in one of monthly. This new novel is going to be the next one. Yeah, so I got to get it finished first, right? I gotta get finished first before I can start putting it in. So I gotta get this gotta get this done. I think I think the shifting light's gonna finish up in January. I think the last chapter, uh the last chapter of the book is in Jan January, January or February. So I think February is will be the first I think it's February will be the first um chapter of the new novel. I think. I think we will see. We will see. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Righteous anger. Righteous anger is a theme here, but there's, there's a fine line and that's the main character. The main character rides that fine line. And I think there's going to be a revelation that's going to come where uh, about, about him crossing that line. And, um, it's going to be like devastating to him. 
when he when he realizes that when he's like oh my god i think we'll see we'll see i haven't i haven't fleshed out so like there, there's there's like there's six people that are in this group together learning about their anger right like and i i have to i haven't figured out like what everybody's thing is just yet right three of them i got down pretty good three of them i got down pretty good um the other three i'm not sure not so sure just yet yeah, and I'm not sure like how much, how much of a supporting character each of them are going to be. How far, I, how 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 in depth I need to get into their story, or if it's just like oh they're there. So there, there's a lot of internal dialogue for the main character, a lot, and internal dialogue that is not even necessarily scripted, but is shown through through action. So <sighs> anyway, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on right now. I want to get started on that painting, but that's not going to happen until next week because it's not going to happen until after court. Court is this is this Friday. And, oh my God, I can't wait to have that out of the way. That's the other thing I got to do today. I got to finish putting together my binder. 